potentially the deadliest challenge to come across during any kind of severe rainfall, low water crossings. Over the next few days, these crossings could become dangerous. Charmel O'Dell joins us live to tell us how you can stay safe if you happen to come across one. Charmel. Well, Francis, fire officials here in Rogersville say it doesn't take much to make a low water crossing a threat. Volume and the speed are going to be the two defining factors. A family day of swimming turned into a near-death experience for a mother of four. Recently, Holly Muller brought her kids to a low water crossing in Crawford County to enjoy what she thought would be a fun day in the sun. But as Muller and her kids grouped up to snap a pic, one of her own was swept underneath the bridge. Um, that's typically what might be referred to as like a strainer. So uh, you could get caught against that. Anything that water can flow through, but you cannot, that's called a strainer. So, and people get caught up in those all the time and then it just keeps them right there. Fire officials say all it takes is a few inches of rain for a low water crossing to become dangerous and sometimes even deadly. You know, if you've got water that's consistently moving through an area, it's gonna erode away. To keep yourself protected, be aware of the signs you pass while along the route. Sometimes that could be your warning. I think we all know where those low water crossings are on a state route or on a county route. And so, again, I think you just need to be aware of where those are at. If you are about to come across a lowered bridge, slow down, then try to find something that will help figure out how deep the water actually is. But depending on the time of day, this can be much more difficult. Nighttime, it's a little harder. Your, your headlights reflect off of, the, off of that. But if you see gravel in the road, you see uh, leaves built up in the ditch, uh, stuff, weeds knocked over, you know, the high grass, you know that the high water has come through that area. And if the water's too high, make other plans. So the crossing that you may have been able to cross no problem the other day with a couple inches of water over it, now with a foot of water over it, could be a lot more dangerous and something that could possibly sweep you off the side. Now, officials say you're going to want to be mindful over some of these tips over the next few days as we can expect to see some severe rainfall.